a very beautiful moment you are here with uh, our very own sister and uh, once again i'm welcoming you to mark africana story of my professional life welcome sister thank you so much introduce yourself what do you do here um i'm evelyn evelyn kwambo kasimba i'm a nurse by profession you may practice for like how long uh i've practiced for five years for five years no. Wow. So we have Evelyn Simba. She has been a nurse for five years. So Evelyn, uh, in this show, basically, we are discussing on um, what we have encountered during our professional practice. During your five years of practicing nursing, what have you come across that cannot leave your mind? until you die that one thing there's just one one thing maybe good or bad but once you buy buy as coming okay in my nursing practice i've encountered a lot of issues mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know it's an event or uh, what do you want exactly maybe it's just an experience maybe ulipe mgonja dawa maybe a faint you know but, like something that has ever happened you wish it never happened but it happened and you not forget about it maybe i can say one which happened when i was working at uh, ktrh that was 2018 i was in the surgical ward mm -hmm. and we had a patient in cube six the patient was um, the patient had a wound the wound was not big but that was not the issue the issue that day was uh, now okay late, later when we got the story the patient had been taking drugs eh, while in the ward and we didn't know mm -hmm. those drugs used to come with the caregivers when they come they bring food and then they also put some drugs inside the food mm -hmm. so what happened is that they brought alcohol on that particular day mm -hmm. the alcohol plus bang according to the report now you got eh? mm -hmm. so the patient took the drugs mm -hmm. that i was in the afternoon shift mm -hmm. so we had finished giving medication we were writing our nursing card access mm -hmm. so we were on the nursing station to share malizana kupatiana dawa mm -hmm. meanwhile during lunch break caregivers wamekuja wamempatia chakula na pia wamempatia vitu <coughs> zao so mgonjwa aka akachukua mm -hmm. after kuchukua you know those drugs that this this are way they work they stimulate you they make you feel like you are in heaven <laughs> so <laughs> you ever tested them i don't know but that is talking i'm on on get the experience to jamu so the patient after taking the drugs mm -hmm. got out of the ward mm -hmm. and jumped from first floor down to the ground mm -hmm. And as we were not aware, mm -hmm. so we were called by the soldiers and the the the, the relatives who were in that cube. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, to kind of to cover that patient, we brought the patient back. Mm -hmm. By now, the patient was very violent. Mm -hmm. I think Kaliko Apia me me kwa na head injury kidogo. So we were to at least to retain the patient and then either we call for a review or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. so we brought the patient back to the bed mm -hmm. we restrained the patient mm -hmm. yeah no we are allowed when, <laughs> when the patient is, if the patient is violent mm -hmm. and there is no side room mm -hmm. ama a, a separate room where you can keep the patient mm -hmm. you can tie the patient just to restrain him because pian is a harm the other patients unafunga na nini tunafunga na kamba of course kamba kamba tu <laughs> kamba ya kawaida so mkona krimi no nilikuwa na krimi ndo kwa wewe you can't leave a violent patient until I'm kwa cool down ndio mm -hmm. mta release yeah, yeah. so tukafunga that patient mm -hmm. after kufunga the patient so we came back to the station tunapiga sabu should we call for a review or we observe the patient first mm -hmm. so kumbe after we had left that patient after restraining him and coming back to the station mm -hmm. patient alipak and uh, as we didn't know 
So sisi tuko hapo station tunaendelea kuandika saa kumi kafika. Saa kumi kufika pia relatives pia wanaingi visiting hours. Yeah, allowed in now. Visiting hours. Visiting hours uh-huh. ishafika. Uh-huh. Sisi tunaendelea huko kuandika station, mdistaji wengine, vitu nyingi tu za nursing. Uh-huh. So wakaenda wakaona mgonjwa wao. Uh-huh. Mmoja akakuja akatuambia sister patient wetu hako baridi. Uh-huh tunaweza pata line nyingine tumfunike <laughs> as usual unatafuta line unampatia tukamwambia tutamletea line mm-hmm. wewe ndio tumalize kuandika tutamshughulikia mm-hmm. kidogo kidogo another one came eh no patient wetu ni kama hiyo baridi na mamaliza amenyamaza mm-hmm. hasongi tangu aku tukuje oh, yeah. <laughs> so tukasema ah akatuambia sister ibu kuja muone kama ako sawa. Sasa hii ni saa ngapi? So unajua so, tangu wameingia four, wameingia four. Yeah, sasa hii mshaka kwa listing hours sasa. Mm, four yeah. imeingia. Yeah. Kuna mmoja amekuja akaomba linen, kaambia mm. no relax, we are doing something, tunakuja kumwangalia, si ndio? Na mka akaenda. Mwingine tena akakuja after how long now? Like now five minutes. So si. tuseme it is 410. For eh tuseme hapo 430 sasa. Haijachukua yeah. time but mm-hmm. ni visiting hour so watu wamejaa kwa cube. Mm-hmm. Cubes zote in short. Yeah. So after kutuambia sister kuja sasa muone mgonjwa. Mhm. Eh tukasema hebu tuende tuone. Mm-hmm. I was the first one to go. So kwenda kufika hapo mm-hmm. kuangalia eh mm no pipe <laughs> patient ni kama sh- alipaki ali kitambo like mm-hmm. 10 minutes ago mm-hmm. so mimi uko na hiyo situation mm-hmm. akaniuliza sister ako sawa mbona hajasonga tangu tukuje nikamwambia yeye ako sawa mm-hmm. kwa sababu singewaambia mm venye mimi naona mm-hmm. ameshaenda <laughs> nikaenda nikaita sister tulikuwa na shift nikamwambia kuja na plead mm-hmm. huyu mgonjo amepack mm-hmm. tukate kwa te kwanza hizi kamba mm-hmm then uh, to one watch next mhm akakuja na ka, na plead mm-hmm. sisi kwenda kukata hiyo hizo kamba mm-hmm. waka kundua what has happened mhm waka tukiokea so now huyu uh, mtu ako na watu wangapi relatives wangapi walikuja relatives wake ni kama 4 3 4 mm-hmm. but sasa cube <coughs> imejaa juni visiting hours mm-hmm. so kila mm-hmm. patient akona na na watu wao wa eh, na washagundua kuna kakitu hapa sasa uh-huh. kamefanyika watu ni wengi watu ni wengi sasa like how many people I can't I can't exactly tell but around 20 tuseme kwa two people mm. <laughs> <Okay>. so <laughs> washagundua mgonjwa alikuwa amefungwa mm. na mgonjwa ameku amekufa na sisi hatukuwa aware mm-hmm. so kasema sisi wacha tukate kamba before we communicate anything yes uh-huh. so that tukishakata kamba <laughs> tuleta hata stethoscope to pim tuseme mgonjwa hatuoni venye yako mm. acha tuite daktari eh tuona tuone nothing ni ngumu my dear uh-huh. so tuka kwanza kukata hiyo kamba mm. mmoja akasema hapana sister kwa nini mnakata kamba mm-hmm. kama mnaita mkubwa daktari muita ono mgonjwa venye alikuwa amefungwa mm-hmm. kumwambia hapana Mm. Mgonjwa alikuwa violent, saa ya relax so tunakata ka? Kamba. Akasema na ame relax acha kwa nini asongi basi? Mhm. Hiyo ni ku relax ya kawaida. Mhm. Tukasema acha mm, tunyamanze kwanza tukate kamba. Mm. Then tutawaelezea. Mm. So tukaamua kunyama, kunyama. kunyamanza. Tunaendelea kukata sasa za miguu za mkono venye mm-hmm. tukatume funga. Mhm. Wakatuambia waacha kukata Wacha. kamba. <laughs> Tuongeleshe. Ni nyinyi tunaongelesha. Yeah. Eh, iko so, kaka kelele sasa. D- Wameshapata information, mm. nyinyi ndio mlifunga wewe mtu. Eh, washaambiwa sasa na hao wa room. Washaambiwa mgonjwa alienda akachirusha huko, uh-huh. hata wakakuja kutuambia. Mm-hmm. Sasa hata tukakuja sisi hata tena tukamfunga. Mm-hmm. Naelewa sasa. Mm-hmm. So culprits wamejileta. Kwa eh, mtu walifanya wanataka ndio hiyo sasa. Uh-huh. So hatukuendelea kukata wako tuchache wakatuambia waacha kukata kamba so tukawacha mm-hmm. tukasema acha tuenda station kufika station wakatufuata wow hmm? wakaanza tulileta mgonjwa mtibi mm-hmm. nyinyi mmeamua kuwa tena mmefunga ka kamba mmefunga kamba mm-hmm. so ikakaa kesi bana mm-hmm. tungeendelea hata kuandika mm-hmm. sasa washaitana sasa hata wenye wamekuja kuona wagonjwa eh mm-hmm. washaacha sasa wamekuja kuona yenyewe na wana hakika wanaona ukweli mgonjwa amefunga mm-hmm. na hata wakupati time uweleze kwa nini mlifunga mgonjwa mm-hmm. na hata wenye walikuwa nasema walikuwa nawachapa kwa room sasa wamenyamaza mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa ameku amekufa amekufa 
so ilibidi tuka involve mpaka administration wakatuitia police hiyo <laughs> <laughs> nyangito sasa hiyo siku hata polisi akakuja mm-hmm. sisi hata tulitoka before shift ishe mm-hmm. tuka change kwa sababu walikuwa wanataka kuchapa mm-hmm. eh yeah, so hiyo story sitawai sahau ju so ilienda aje what happened eventually eventually we don't know what happens because as we had to change and leave and leave that is leave. what they want they didn't want to see us mm-hmm. in the hospital because Lakini. they thought we had killed so i think what normally followed in your last office mm-hmm. mkondo achukuliwe mm-hmm. apelekwe mog mm-hmm. then they well say we to what happened si lakini kuna ile story inakuja mnaambiwa jana vile mlienda oh kulikuwa of course you left someone of course yeah uh, what happened see they, they now they were called to the office mm-hmm. wakaelezewa mm-hmm. but the problem is mm-hmm. these guys finally they agreed mm-hmm. walikuwa mlete umgonjwa i don't know why they had brought but there was a drug mm-hmm. eh yeah. Mm-hmm. So walikuwa wanajua hata mgonjwa wao anakunywa. Mm-hmm. Na sisi huko tunasema mgonjwa akiwa kwa ward mm-hmm. asiletewe madawa za kulevi. Mm-hmm. So I think that is what saved us mm-hmm. and plus the witnesses in there mm-hmm. the cube the cube mm-hmm. that the patient was was drunk na alikuwa ameletewa na caretakers. Hiyo si kwa pia baadhi. Hiyo si kulilala wapi? Tameka. You have just work like two years mm-hmm. and you are like oh my god what if my license is taken now am i going to take care of my children mm-hmm. you've not even practiced to say me now ni meiva kwa hii job no na so it was very threatening in fact since then up to now i think there is always a police officer place to be <laughs> they in fact that is how it changed mm-hmm kanza kukana permanent police officer mm-hmm. so mpaka wakakoa sasa strict wana check even the food eh? mm-hmm. to bring to the patient mm-hmm. because what wanasema ni chai mm-hmm. maana kuna thermos mm-hmm. lakini ndani ni pombe mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and most of those such co patients ni eh? watu wamemwa mguu mkono the rest of the body ko sawa they are fine, they are fine. Mm-hmm. did you feel at any point like sasa utaki hii kazi waje waende nyumbani ulime kama hivi ndio itakuwa eh hey, because You have you ever been threatened and you are in uniform? No. And uh, in fact you feel humiliated because wanakuuliza si wewe ni sister kweli? Na ukweli wanaona umevaa uniform na wanakuuliza wewe ni sister. Ulikuja kuua ama ulikuja kutibu? You know. Ni maswali inakuti unashangaa nimesoma miaka 5 nikuje kuua kweli. I'm here to save. But you know in our profession those things are normal. But they can't understand that way. So that is Evelyn Simba. Now that's the sad story. Uh, maybe sasa kuna that one patient maybe ulimsaidia kidesign kama wacha ende nyumbani akushikie kuku. Sasa the, the good experience yenye umepata during your practice yenye pia unaona yenyewe inami ilinifanya nika feel like I went to school to study nursing and wow I have made it. That just one story. Okay there are there are uh, many of them mm-hmm. but i can remember um, no there are many good ones eh? mm-hmm. especially when you have handled those uh, maternal patients mm-hmm. when i was uh, maternity mm-hmm. you get very much appreciated mm-hmm. so there is this one patient who came mm-hmm. uh, he came with the wife mm-hmm. and then you know there are the, the the contractions i think they are individualized there are people who can uh, who are able to to bear the pain mm-hmm. there are some who can cry yeah. so the woman was really crying mm-hmm. and the nurse who was attending and i was entering night shift mm-hmm. i think she wasn't tolerant with her yeah, yeah. rather alikuwa anamwambia ni kawaida you know some the pain is too much mpaka na sawa re kitu ni kawaida anyway so it's like Uh, alikuwa amemwambia tu enda tu utembe tembe ukuje and that one was not making sense to that woman mm-hmm. so mimi nikiingia night shift i got the husband to the to the wife kaniambia sister please ni nione bibi yangu yeah. so mimi out of nothing just simply because the mother was crying a lot i said let me check maybe ako karibu kuzaa mm-hmm. so i called her when I come check nikapata she's like 8 9 mm-hmm. i did my nursing things i put ms and everything mm-hmm. after like 5 uh, minutes mm-hmm. after not really 5 minutes after like 30 minutes mm-hmm. she delivered mm-hmm. so after delivering mm-hmm. uh, the delivery went okay the baby was okay so we finished we took the mother back to the to her room mm-hmm. 
So the the husband came and told me thank you thank you thank you and then he told me please give me your phone number just want to say thank you. So before I leave I go even to the station I received 5000 and I was very <laughs> broke that day. <laughs> I didn't believe. Uh -huh. I felt good. I just felt, oh, could she be pregnant again and come back? <laughs> I, I think it's I, that day I felt good because mm. that day I was broke mm -hmm. and I was just doing it out of nursing. I'm on duty. Yeah. I need to deliver do, deliver this mother, so I wasn't doing expecting anything. Mm -hmm. Apart from the smallest appreciation, people can give you five hundred, two hundred, when you know easy. Mm -hmm. But him. Out of nowhere, he just sent me five thousand. Five thousand. Like, like you want I to pay me, Sarah? Yes, you know, you're like, oh man, <laughs> you have another wife. <laughs> yeah, I think that one, that one also made me very feel very good. Money was very our nurses for us. No, it's yeah. money is motivation. So for us, you don't money. have money. Not really How can we advise? <laughs> You know when you are uh, helping somebody, when mm -hmm. you are in the hospital, yeah. you don't help in the name like you are going to be appreciated because you know the salary at the end of the month. Yeah, yeah. But there are guys who feel like you've really done something, you know, yeah, sure. and they appreciate you there and then. Mm -hmm. There's even one who sent me 2,500 after I'd taken care of the child. Mm -hmm. I like a diabetic child. Mm -hmm. So the child came very down with a condition we call DKA. Mm -hmm. So after I'm a resolve, I'm told I can't go on care. I'm going Mm. So when the father came, I can remember him wrong. I'm a kupenda, but I only want to come and look at it too. And I got 2,500, and I was like, Oh, Kumba, I'm doing a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Kumba should continue doing this. How do you put a male patient up here? I saw many of them. So many. How do you do? Because I know your ethics and uh, the pro the rules that guide you allows you to date your patient, right? No, 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 no. They don't allow to date they your patient. No, no, no. Now you are no, lying. You no, are no, lying. no. That's not professional. At least uh, what I know is, uh, if it's work, it's work. You can't mix work with love affairs. Mm -hmm. No, you are either at work, mm -hmm. I'm outside work. Yeah. So in our hospital environment. Mm -hmm. There is that temptation. Some of you see and they're like, ah, oh, sister Ngoja Kwanza, uli saw Malini. Uli saw Malini? Ah. Then they're like, ah, oh, sister, unajua hata kama ni kwa hapa, si kumpaya sana, tunezo ngea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you just tell them, no, if you really want to talk to me, you can meet me outside the hospital. So that's why I'm saying, you are allowed, you can date your patient. Not in the hospital environment, if you yeah, of course, but do, <laughs> <laughs> that environment, no. What happens if your husband now is the patient? My husband is the patient. I nurse him. <laughs> I'm a nurse. Nurse is just taking care of those patients. You just take care of him very well. And very when, well. Like, and when he's okay, you remind well. him, oh, now I'm your, uh, your wife. Mm -hmm. Outside the <laughs> hospital environment. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys that was uh nas evelyn we have been having a good time i'm going to pay a story mingi mingi kuna singina of course there are a lot you can't say kuna mingi. so you don't want to tell my africana fans everything no ah, but they know. wait another day yeah, yeah. we bring it another day guys <laughs> thank you for joining us today and uh stay tuned we are bringing you a lot of stories and i hope you like them so and as Evelyn, uh, tell people to subscribe to Mark Africana, to follow our Facebook page, follow us on uh, Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Ah, uh, to go Twitter, to go Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. We are not on Twitter. Uh, we are only on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. So. Pia wambie na sisi wengine wa subscribe. Pia wakuje watu wambie fili wame wanga watu. No, we don't care. We are there to save. So, nyumu ni kama muli uwa. Nyumu muli uwa. So, I encourage you guys, my fellow nurses, my colleagues, all around the medical field, please subscribe. And on our Instagram, on our YouTube, and we'll appreciate it. Yeah, very oh, soon. Your comments are also very important. Bye, we need bye, your comments bye, 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 so that we know what to correct, mm -hmm. what to improve on, mm -hmm. what to what, what, to what, what makes what you, makes you, you yeah. yeah, content you can tell us what you want, yeah. then we'll you bring you that content. Otherwise, we thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you and bye bye. bye. <laughs>